<laughs> Ethan Mars doing what he always does best. What the fuck? Hello there! It's who you are. Shut up. I, I skinned an entire football and put it on my face. Oh my god, I think I'm going crazy. I'm trying to drink my milk in peace. Ah, ah, it's not milk! It's chocolate milk! Ah! Give in. Straight up molasses! Ah, eh. Gross! No. No more. Oh, the the call of the liquor is getting stronger. <laughs> Dopey face. So here is uh, a very literal sense. We are going to kill our addiction. Uh, okay. That's how this level starts in the magic theater. We are actually going to... We can either drink or, you know, say, fuck the bottle and defeat the al alcohol demon. Defeat alcohol demon. Here we go. I, I got the bottle. I'm going to kill him in an ironic way. Ha 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 ha. Are you kidding me? Let's see. Oh, oh he's, he's throwing stuff at me. How could you? Die, alcohol demon. I am the NPC personified as your addiction. <laughs> he seriously is. And he's going to fight me mano a mano. Not smart, buddy. Because take a look at this. Let's go ahead and kill him. Wait. Oh, there's no there's no place to actually kill him. So I think I'll just... I'm going to snap my addiction's neck. Oh, I just hugged him to death. So <laughs> <laughs> there goes there goes the alcohol demon. He's dead. It's okay. You were having a nightmare. And believe it or not, that means Damn. Ethan no longer has a drinking problem. You're exhausted. We both have. Do you have a cranberry juice or perhaps a cold fresca I could drink? Excuse me, can I get a uh, espresso with uh, a little bit of cream? Yes, thank you. Could I have a ginger ale, uh, particularly one with real ginger in it? Actually, you know what? Screw those ideas in ice water, please, and thank you. Bitch. <laughs> He's still violent to, you know, to a point. But now whenever you aim a gun, Ethan no longer has the jitters. He literally knocked the addiction out of himself. Oh, I'm so glad I'm free of alcoholism. Now maybe I can do something about my crippling uh, gambling addiction or my addiction <laughs> to, to tobacco and cigarettes. Turns out the alcoholism was just, you know, the top of the pile. And now he has to work through all his other addictions. Eh, one demon at a time, okay? Ooh, we got a little bit slow down there. Meanwhile, in Bioshock Land... I was about to say, if you say Circus of Values, we're on the same wavelength. Yep, this looks like something out of Bioshock. Oh, well, uh. there it goes. So we need to make it into the middle there to say hi to the Ticketmaster, and then we'll be able to see Magic Man. Now, the entire time I was thinking, well, am I going to be jumped by something? This seems like the perfect time for something to attack me. No, it's just going to lock up and say, all right, figure out the puzzle. This whole room is one big puzzle. Go figure it out, smart boy. I can climb the fence as a ladder and just kind of hop over like that. Oh, I wish you could. In fact... One of the ideas I had, uh, and this is actually from a scrapped recording, I actually tried to run through the fire, and uh, it's an invisible wall, <laughs> so you can't just run through the fire. Good effort, though. Yeah, I'm glad they thought of it, otherwise this level would be even more piss easy. Why did they nail ladies to dartboards? Because a Penn and Teller show went horrifically wrong, you know, they were doing the yeah. knife trick. Ooh. This is another example of Condemned 2 having a really good variety in levels, but uh, when you put it in a story that's already kind of silly, and this level being the shortest out of all of them, it's kind of a waste, in my opinion. I still love it, but man, are we, are we literally just here to say hi. So what's the puzzle then? Just pull the lever? Pull the lever and we head down an elevator. There's a couple switches we need to activate in order to get the uh, the circular fire trick to end up back to where it needs to be and stop the fire. But first, some lore. 
fan sites on the internet. Fan sites. They're Let's always the, the, the delvers of such Cold deep Cold. lore of everything you need to know about Cold. every sort of cult activity going on. It appears they've been around for more than 3,000 years. Pretty remarkable, if true. But we must consider the source. Hmm. Well? Were humans even around 2,000 years ago? I mean, what is it, 2018? <laughs> Have we even been around that long? It reminds me of the comment I once saw. I was like, Happy birthday, Earth. You're 2018 years old. Oh. God. Oh, it hurts. Oh, dear. It hurts. Do you want to tell him or should I? <laughs> Oh, there's a lot of questions like that that just make me, you know, face palm to the nth degree. Oh, hey. Uh oh. No, really, really, he's got this mesky barbecue potato chip on his shoulder. It's it's disgusting. It's disgusting. It's stuck there. But hey, at least he kicked the drinking problem. Oh, oh oops, sorry. He says he keeps it there for later. Turns out Ethan's a bit of a pun master. He says he wants a chip on his shoulder. I thought you could take the antenna and use it as a weapon. Turns out that's <laughs> not the case. Ooh, we got something better here. Yep, we got something better. We got a fire axe. All right, you see that saving content? That means things are about to start attacking us, but from where? I'd say everywhere. Pretty much. And I do like the unsettling atmosphere that this particular level has. It's nice and dark. You know, you have the circus music in the background. That's a little unsettling, especially if you're afraid of, you know, the circus, clowns. Mm hmm And now let's get to our main enemy of this magical theater. when they, you know, feel like it. Oh, there we go. Ah, the oh. ladies! Yep, the ladies nope. pull themselves off their blades and attack you. Oh, well. well. This is not good. Doesn't look good. <laughs> Figured I'd take her out and then we'll try to deal with this other one. There we go. Now, what can we use? Uh, uh, be be gone thought? We can't you use You can't that? put them back? No, so we gotta just... <laughs> Use the your table, table madam. <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you to your seat, and then you just toss her in there. We have a little list of wines for a selection. <laughs> Can I take your order? <clears throat> oh, let's have a little bit of a broken arm. Hey, well, somebody distracted me. Stop! I want to break her arm. Ow. You broke the lady's arm. Uh, it looked really painful too. <laughs> So, uh, I figured out how the combo meter works. It seems like it. Yeah, basically whenever you want to do a combo attack, the more little meters you have filled over there, the more destructive the move. Aha. Uh -huh. That just didn't click for me. So a lot of the advanced combos that you have, uh, that you have in there, in your combo screen, Jesus, I really can't talk today. You can actually, uh, do a lot higher chain combos the more meters you have. Hmm. It's pretty cool. And now we need to find the other... Oh, there it is. The other switch. We gotta call Ticketmaster and get front row seats. We do. We have to call the Ticketmaster. He's right there in the middle. And we can go in. Oh, well, after we get unstuck. But, yeah, we're already done with uh, half of the level. <laughs> It's just... Get into the theater. Okay, mission one accomplished. Mission two, get to the ticket matcher. Pull two levers, here we are. Mission three, find Magic Man. Mission four, talk to him. Mission five, leave. Okay, uh, let's uh, pay the ticket master. With death. Uh, you know, you could just give me like $10 or something. You could... You know, you could just, oh, 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 okay, okay. Well, it's all right, everybody. It's a maybe, magic trick. See, watch. Maybe $5. Oh, all right, just a quarter. Just a dime. No, no, no. He's absolutely uh, fine. See, if I push in this last sword, he's absolutely uh, fine. Uh-oh. Oh, no. 
All right, that's not that. fine. Jesus that's Christ! Fine. I'm that getting is, the fuck kicked out of me. That is not fine. Oh no! God damn it! I hate those mud monsters. Huh. Anyway, let's oh, try this no. again. Yeah, sorry, Ticketmaster. We got to do it. So these guys can be easily killed by a kick, but the thing is, you can't see because of the darkness. So you can get just completely butt fucked in this particular section by two of them because you can't see them. But it's got to have its filters, of course. It's got to have its filters, and it makes me really annoyed that you can't see anything. But there, we're done. Now we can go talk to the magic man. Is the ticket master all right? He'll be fine. Yeah, okay. Hey, I've updated your kit with more info. Check it out. All right, more lore. Before leaving the SCU, I managed to grab the disc Dorland's agents found on SKX. It's some sort of journal he was keeping. Most of it's meaningless babble, but listen to this. The root of the Oro's plan revolves around a tradition called Sonic Generation. It's the ability to produce complex sounds that project out from not just the mouth, but the entire body. People subjected to these sound experience and paranoia. This is followed by almost a century of obsessive, increasingly sexist, and other forms of uncontrolled, violent behavior. It goes on to say, people with natural tendencies to be violent and violent and Okay, you get the joke. Yeah. I mean, we've all heard we've all heard Kirby music before, haven't we? That's right. Yeah, let's explain all violence in the world ever. Uh, just imagine if you could, you know, have one thing that's wrong. Sonic Generation! Yeah, Sonic Generation! You know, you create sonic waves and that makes people violent. It creates war. It creates people being really angry all the time. That's what the Oro is. So the Oro is a decent Sonic game from 2011? Now get this. Yep. Oro, more like Loro. More like a Boro! Yeah, so th this is where the plot takes a, a nosedive, in my opinion. So basically, people who have really good sternums are part of the Oro, or they are harnessed by the Oro to create sonic waves, to just create general chaos and war and violence and all that crap. And that's why we're trying to fight back, because they want to, like, steal sternums and people. Alright, uh, I want you to put your fists together. Okay, like okay. Grab, like, like you're grabbing onto something. Yeah. Now I want, now I want you to spread your arms as wide as you can, like you're grabbing onto that something. Uh-huh. Because that shit's a stretch. Yeah. Uh-huh. And here we are. Here's the magic man. This is the end of the level. All we need to do is say hi to him. Babbling. Come out so I can see you. You're not so easily influenced. That much is obvious. That. This is where the theme levels kind of fall apart in my eyes. Because in context, the bowling alley and the school made sense. A little bit. In context of this. They literally created a character so Ethan had an excuse to go to a magic theater. For dramatic's sake. Looks good for the trailer. Yeah. In fact, this was the level that I saw in the game trailer's review that made me want this game. I got duped. Well, not exactly, because this game's still pretty great in comparison. Yeah. But, uh, here we go! Time for a boss fight! But first, we need to kill his magical assistant! Oops. Oh. Uh, oh, excuse me, madam. Excuse me, take a shovel to the face. Oh. Oh, oh well. Didn't really want to do that. Okay, time to defeat the magic man! Don't here's how you girls. defeat the magic man! Yeah, don't hit girls. So, here's what the magic man's going to do. He's going to appear on different platforms all around his stage. And his only attack is waiting t for you to hit him. All he does is that. He uses sonic emission and it hurts and it creates a disgusting filter that you can't escape. 
So then you throw bottles at his platforms that he goes on. Really? And he has to go to the next one. And then you take another bottle, you toss it over that platform. And now he has nowhere to go. He is now on the middle platform. He's stuck. So what do you do to beat this boss? Well, there's a lever right here. You pull it and he falls. Ow. <coughs> And that's it. That's saying hi to Magic Man. That's the end of the level. Thud. Uh, uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> hi, Magic Man. <laughs> it's just that easy. Uh-huh. Travels fast. Start making some sense. Remendium, the remedy, was supposed to be a myth. Oh, good. Remendium. But now... You made them think otherwise. Remendium? You can all go to hell. Wait! Please! It's a gift! The ideal body. Perfectly tuned from birth. Capable of resonating a sound so powerful it can destroy flesh and bone. It's more like Condemned 2, Earshot. It's what they fear most. They fear me because I can yell people's heads off. Awesome! Ah! Ah! Are you a member of the Oro? A sick, incestuous organization? No, no, not anymore. But I can tell you. Ooh, the, the Oro are, are coming to harness my powers. City. No! Let's just say, Big Brother is all grown up and Liquid! <laughs> Where can I find Brother! And his head pops. I don't know what you're asking. I can't. All right. Uh, the peninsula. The peninsula. The I'm sure there's like there. eight peninsulas in the city alone. Oh, the peninsula? Got it. I'll go there. Oh, well, I've turned my back on an enemy again, and he escaped. Imagine that. All right, let's get out of here. Run! <laughs> Okay, cool. So the Oro were about to attack the city, and we got information from Magic Man saying, Go to the peninsula! That was it? What a waste of a level. I still like the the place we were at, but God, what a waste of a level. That was it. They put that in there first and worked the story around there <laughs> later, didn't they? Mm -hmm. God, yep. I hope that wasn't the case. Because for a while there, it was looking pretty good. And now it's just going downhill the fastest I've ever seen a game go downhill story-wise. This is ridiculous. Abracadabra! Poof! He jumped the shark!